I didn't sit down and say, hey, I'm gonna be innovative today. Um, uh, I really, uh, it was really trying to experiment with new tools. I mean, I'm a software engineer, so uh, basically the latest, coolest, shiny toy at the time was the web, uh, was interactivity, and uh, the way I expressed my creativity was through writing code. Fast forward to Labor Day weekend of 1995, um, I, I sat down at my computer and started writing a script, a Perl script, uh, to create a very basic uh, auction mechanism. And the, the, the code was really simple. It just it allowed you to list an item for sale, you could have a title and a description and the starting price, and uh, you could also see a list of all the items that were listed, obviously that was important, and then you could bid on an item. And then the great thing about the web, you know, especially in those days and still today, is that once you put something out there, you start getting feedback right away from people. Almost a year later, by August of 96, um, I had uh, found somebody to help me build the company, and we had both quit our day jobs uh, and, and devoted ourselves full time to, to building that company. Uh, during that first two year period, we were growing 20 to 50% every month every single month, and some months were 70%, but on that, for two years, sustained growth like that, I don't think anybody's you know, uh, ever done that, and uh, it, was, it was terrifying. You know, it was exhilarating and terrifying at the same time, because at any moment, the whole system could have just come crashing down, and we were racing to stay ahead of the, uh, uh, stay ahead of the demand. And it was pretty, pretty challenging. It was actually in February of 96, um, I, I came up with the idea of um, creating this the feedback form. And basically what that was, was to encourage people to give each other feedback based on how did their transaction go. And, um, and since I was getting all of these complaints, I assumed that it would be mostly negative, that you know, it was a forum for people to give each other negative feedback. And so, so I wrote this little, this little letter to the community uh, in February of 96, announcing the feedback forum. And, I, and I basically in it, I said, hey listen, people are basically good. We all try to do a good job. We all try to do our best, but sometimes things don't work out. It'd be great, you know, let's give each other the benefit of the doubt. Um, but if you're having, you know, if you're having real problems with somebody, now there's a feedback forum. You know, basically, you don't have to complain to me, but there's a feedback forum. If, if, if your complaint is worthy of complaint, then you should do it publicly, you know, and complain in the public forum. But while you're at it, also think about giving praise where praise is due. If somebody does something nice for you, wouldn't it be nice in this world if we could actually start recognizing that? And, uh, and you know, let's give each other praise where praise is due. And you know, we found that when you give somebody the opportunity to give praise, to give positive feedback when it's well deserved, people love to do that. It's very gratifying yourself to be able to give praise to to somebody else. And um, and so anyway, so the feedback forum is uh, just a remarkable, incredibly gratifying testament to human nature and the fundamental goodness of human nature. But then also from a business perspective, it was really the thing that allowed eBay to succeed because it gave people a chance, a way to know that they could actually trust a complete stranger.
And there's something about an entrepreneur that um, is somewhat sort of anti-establishment, somewhat disrespectful of the previous generation. Um, and although that can grate people the wrong way a little bit, that's a really important element, actually. You need to be passionate about what you want to work on um, and, and uh, don't take no for an answer when, when people out there are giving you advice and saying, no, this will never work. I mean, you know, you look at eBay. The idea that, that in 1995 that you could create something over the internet which is this brand new thing that nobody, you know, was really using at the time, except for scientists and academics. And, um, and it would be a place where strangers could actually do business with one another, could actually, like, exchange merchandise for, for, for money um, without ever meeting, you know. And the notion that people could actually buy and sell cars over the internet. I mean, that's crazy, right? Yeah, it's totally crazy. So, in fact, lots and lots of people told me that was crazy. Um, and I didn't, you know, I, I have to say, I didn't have this vision, oh, it's going to take over the world, it's going to be this fantastic thing overnight. I didn't have that kind of delusion either. But, um, but I did say, you know what, there's something, there's something worth trying here. Uh, it's, not, it's not crazy. I think, really, eh, the, the important thing is to preserve an environment where individuals or regular people actually can uh, become inspired to have an impact in the world around them, to have a sense that they can have an impact on the world around them, that they have the power to make a difference, and, uh, and, and to give them the space to go and experiment, to reward experimentation and risk-taking rather than uh, punish failure. And I think our whole system has to work together for this. People have to be educated properly. They have to, they have, to have a sound grounding in, in, uh, you know, in, in the sciences, uh, uh, in, in, uh, in the stuff that makes our world go. Um, but they have to be embraced as individuals. And that's the part that can be really tricky, especially as this world gets more crowded and as this world gets smaller. Uh, embracing the individuality of a person and not forcing them to follow a certain path or fit in a certain bucket, that's gonna be a critical challenge as you go into the next generation here as the world gets smaller.